Hey guys, what's up? TTM Mike here, coming at you with my SGC order. Uh, I subbed this in mid-July. It was logged into the system in August sometime, and I just received it in January. So, the end of January, the end of January. I think I received it on the 31st, it was a Saturday? I don't know. So, about seven months, six and a half to seven month wait. So, uh, yeah, SGC definitely dropped the ball when they made the big proclamation of, oh, yeah, we're gonna, we're still open and we're still grading cards and stuff while PSA and Beckett are closed. But guess what? SGC, they dropped the ball as well. So, I mean, you had COVID and then they were like severely understaffed. They were overwhelmed with subs and, uh, they got hammered. So, they took a, they took a big hit in my book. Anyway, it's tuxedo time. Let me show you what I got. So I subbed some uh, 1963 Fleer cards. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about resubbing these with PSA. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I knew this wasn't going to get a good uh, grade. I mean, look how off-center it is. The corners have a little a couple of dings in them. Rounded off. But... Got this milk pappas. This milk pappas received a 2.5. Second, I have this uh, 63 Gene Oliver, and this received a three. So this is a 66 card set. So I'm gonna try and grade all of them. I have a few there. I just haven't sent. I'm not sure whether to crack these out and send them to PSA just so I could have all of them graded by PSA. But I like the way they look in the in the slabs. So, so Gene Oliver received the three. Then I send in this oversized card. It's uh, Oscar Mayer, nineteen ninety Oscar Mayer Barry Sanders card, and it received a four. It's an oversized card. I guess these were given out in Michigan. Uh, nice card. There it is in the back. It's got some stats. So this was his second year, his second year card. He was a rookie in 89. So a nice Barry Sanders. And then I send in this sticker from last year. It's Panini sticker, Patrick Mahomes. Received a 7.5. Nice card. 7.5. And I got these. This is a Kyla Murray. It's a 2019 Dunruss Optic Kyla Murray Hollow Prism. Received a 8. Nice looking card. Then I send in some uh, Kendrick Nunn Panini. Panini Mosaic. Kendrick Nunn NBA Debut. Received eight this is rookie card another Kendrick Nunn received an eight and I sent in this 2009 Topps Chrome Ray Lewis blue refractor received an eight thought this was numbered Nice card of Hall of Famer, though. Ray Lewis. And finally, in the eight category, it's Aaron Judge. 2018 Tops Big League Aaron Judge Green Box Cutout. So you had to cut this. This was on a side panel on the box. You had to cut them out by hand. And apparently, my cutting skills are not that good because I received an eight. But pretty unique card. Okay, next pile, we have a Barry Sanders Action Packed, yep, 1990 Action Packed Barry Sanders received an 8.5, so pretty cool cars, it's got that 3D effect to them, love Barry Sanders, and next card here is a uh, Kellogg's uh, 3D card, this is Bruce Souter, 
And this is from 1981 or 82. Is it 81 or an 82? Focus. Yeah, 81 Kellogg's. And this received an 8.5. So that's not bad. For a 1981 card, getting an 8.5. Looks good in the slab. Not bad. Over 30 years old, this card. So, pretty cool. Next card up. Trey Young Panini card. Uh, this was from the National. They gave this out of the National. So it's uh, 2019 Panini, the National, Trey Young, Hyper Prism, received an 8.5. So I wish this was a 9 or a 10, but it's an 8.5. What can you do? And next card is a poor Zingus. Former Nick, now he is with the Detroit, uh, not Detroit, Dallas Mavericks, and he hasn't really panned out there because he's been injured all the time. So that trade is looking starting to look a little a little bit better for the Knicks. At first the critics were all over the Knicks for getting rid of him, but this guy cannot stay on the court. Huge talent, but he can't stay healthy. And this received an eight point five. Twenty fifteen, sixteen, Dunruss Elite. This was a rookie card. Yep. Rookie card. Eight point five. Poor Zingus. And another Kendrick Nunn here, Panini card, rookie card. And this was a green prism, 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic green prism, received an 8.5. Man, that sucks. Wish it would have graded higher, but it is what it is, 8.5. Next card was an 8.5 also. This is uh, Tua Tackle Viola. He had an okay season for a rookie, you know, but... Apparently, Miami is looking to move him. I don't know why. They must know something we don't. But this is his rookie card. 8.5. And another Tua card. This is a Leaf Draft Tua. All-American received an 8.5. Nice card. I like the American flag background in the back. Very nice. Next stack. We have a Adrian Peterson Tops card, I believe. Yep, Tops Chrome. Received a nine, so that's a nice card. Nice and shiny. So Adrian Peterson Tops Chrome Chico. Next card is a Luca. To 2018 19 Panini Chronicles rookie playoff received a nine. Luca, and this is a what's this? Oh, Joe Burrow. This is a Panini score. Joe Burrow received a nine. Joe Burrow was out injured. Get well soon, Joe. And then we have another Tua Tago Viola. Rookie card, 2020 Panini score. Rookie card received a nine. Sweet looking rookie card. A Chase Young rookie card. This had the black borders as opposed to the white borders, and this received a nine. 2020 Panini score, Chase Young black. It's got the black borders there. Chase Young had a good year. Solid player. And this is a Luis Robert. Lubob. So, it's a grandstand. 2019 grandstand. Luis Robert. Birmingham Barons. I went to the Birmingham Barons website and brought a couple of these packs. And it received a 9. And it looked pretty good to me. Maybe slightly off center top to bottom. But, it's a 9. We have a LeBron James 2017-2018 Panini Essentials. LeBron James Essential Stars received a 9. Nice card. Nice looking card. 
Essential Stars, LeBron James. Next card is a Tony Gwynn card. It is a 1987 Dunruss, received a 9. Tony Gwynn is a great hitter, man. Great player. Rest in peace, Tony. Gone too soon. He used to chew a lot of tobacco. It gave him cancer. And this guy was an awesome hitter. So, not a bad grade for a, a what, 87-year-old card? I mean, not 87-year-old card, from 87 Dunruss card? It's over 30 years old, this card. So, not bad getting it back as a 9. I'll take it. Next card is a minor league Wanda Franco. It is a 2019 Choice Marketing Wanda Franco Bowling Green Hot Rods. Received a 9. Nice card. Maybe he'll make it to the pros this year. Next card up. Christian McCaffrey. This is a Raider rookie card from Panini. Dunruss 2017 rookie card. And that received a 9. Not bad. Next card up, it's a Gavin Lux rookie card from Tops. And that received a 9. 2019 Tops Pro Debut. Gavin Lux. Next one up is a Pete Alonzo. And that received a 9. 2020 Tops Opening Day Sticker Preview. So this is a sticker. They came out with some nice stickers, man. There's the back. Sweet card. Have another Pete Alonzo card here. This is a Tops. Tops opening day. Red foil received a nine. It's hoping to get a ten on this one since it's a red foil. But what can you do? March 26, 2020 was not the opening day last year. But there you have it. Tops Cup, Pete Alonzo, 9. And I have another Kendrick Nunn rookie card here. And this also received a 9. The Blue Velocity Prism. Wish, wishing it would have received better, a better grade, a 10 or a 9.5. But it did not. So you take what you can get. Nice card overall. I'll take it. Next stack over here, we have a Bo Jackson. I believe this is his rookie card. 1987 Tops Bo Jackson rookie card. I think, or oh, Future Stars, that's what it was. Received a 9.5. Sweet looking Bo Jackson card. 9.5. Once again, I sent another Kendrick Nunn card. He was injured at the beginning of this year, but he's, he's come back now and he's playing well. See the 9.5. 2019-20 Panini Mosaic Kendrick Nunn rookie card. Sweet looking card. Hope he continues to play well. And we have another Kendrick Nunn rookie card. And this one received a 9.5. It is a 2019-2020 Don, Donruss Optic Kendrick Nunn Fantastics box set. And it's uh, got a lot of color to it. It's like a wave color. So what is it? Silver wave, I guess? I don't know. 9.5. And we have a Zion Panini. Panini Hoops. Class of 2019. 9.5. And then we have a Anthony Davis rookie card from Panini. So this is a 2012, 2013 Panini, Panini Brilliance Anthony Davis 9.5. So that's not bad for a rookie grade, rookie card. It's not a bad. Obviously, I wanted a 10, but oh well, what can you do? 
I think you see, can you see that little pinhole right there? See that pinhole? Looks like a pinhole, like a little dot right there. Uh, oh, come on, light. Get out of the way. Anyway, right there, if you can see it. I think that's what stopped it from getting a 10. But I'll take it. Anthony Davis. And we have a, another two. Uh, this was a Leaf Draft. Received a 9.5. Great looking card. Have another Tua. 2020 Leaf Draft. Tua Tega Viola. All American Gold. It's got the gold border. 9.5. The American flag in the back. God bless America. Joe Burrow. This was cool. He's wearing his Ohio State uniform. He transferred from Ohio State to LSU. 2020 Panini score. Joe Burrow Black. It's got the black borders, just like the Chase Young. And this received a 9.5. So, nice rookie card. He was having a good year until he got hurt. We got another Lou Bob, Luis Robert. This is a minor league card. It's choice Marketing, Luis Robert, Winston, Salem, Dash, received a 9.5. Nice card. Then we have a 1988 All-Star Game commemorative set, Jose Conseco. Received a 9.5. That's a nice grade for this card from the 80s, 1989. Tops Glossy All-Star card. Of course, you'd rather have the 10. I wish it was a 10, but it's not a 10. It's a 9.5. I'll take it, especially on these older cards. Here's another Jose Canseco Tops card. Received a 9.5. So this is the 1986 Tops traded Jose Canseco. Sweet looking card. And we have an Obak. TriStar Obak. Cal Ripken Jr. I received this at the National in uh, 2010 National that I attended. Yeah, 2010 TriStar Obach received a 9.5. I did get this card in a 10 PSA. So the Iron Man Cal Ripken, great card. That little. Piece of white right there. It's probably what stopped it from becoming a 10. Because the card looks great. And this is a Jake the Grom. Jacob the Grom card. It is a 2018 Tops Living 9.5. So this might be like the third one I submitted to get graded. The first one by SGC. And I can't get a 10. Jacob the Grom. Love Jake. Love me some Jake. We have a Glaber Torres here. 2020 Tops opening day. Blue foil. Received the 9.5. Great looking card. Glaber Torres. Next one up is a Shohei Otane. 2020 Tops opening day. 9.5. Red foil. I think that little ding right there, see that little piece of white there, the bottom of the foil, the edges, is what messed this card up. But it's still got a 9.5, not bad. Another Shohei Otani, and this received a 9.5, Tops Heritage, New Age Performers, Shohei Otani, nice card. Uh, this is a Pudge. Yep, Ivan Rodriguez. Uh, this is a Upper Deck. 1992 Upper Deck. I believe this was a rookie, and it received a 9.5. Sweet looking Pudge. Young Pudge. 
Hall of Fame. And last of the 9.5s, we have a Mike Trout. Mike Trout opening day, 9.5. Nice card. Mikey Trout. Okay, let's get to these. You have a Joe Burrow draft. Leaf draft received a 10. Beautiful card. Love that American flag in the background. 10. We have a uh, another tour. See the 10 touchdown kings. This is uniform, Alabama. We have a uh, Lamar Jackson, Lamb Jack. Panini score 2020. See the 10. I have an Ichiro card. You think this is Tops Fire? Yep, Tops Fire 2018. Tops Fire. It's numbered 194 of 199. I like the fact that they put, if it's a numbered card, they put it on the label. And this received a 10. So, sweet card. Where's the number at? Oh, there goes the number, 194 out of 199. Very sweet Ichiro card. And we have a Gronk. This was a Pre NFL card. This was a 2009, I think. Oh, 2010 Sage hit. Coming out of college. Gronk received a 10. Sweet Gronk. Arizona Wildcats. 2010. Then we get to my favorite two cards of the sub. We got a John Smoltz card. There's a Fleer. So, I don't know if this is considered his rookie card or not. It might be a second-year card, but this is a 1989 Fleer John Smoltz received a 10. So, I mean, this is a junk, junk wax era card. These were hard to, to, um, hard to grade because they're notorious for being off-center, so... For it to come back a 10 is wonderful. I will take it. He is a Hall of Famer. He was a hell of a pitcher. He was a starting pitcher. Then he became a, a great reliever. John Smoltz. Smoltz, he was a hell of a player. So I'll take that 10. I'm not sure if this is rookie card. Might be a second year card. But it's a great card nonetheless for a 1989 Junk Wax era card. To come back a 10, I'll take it. And last but not least, another favorite card of mine. Not because it received a 10. This is what it got. Because it was Nolan Ryan junk, another junk wax era. And this one came out of a Fairfield box. One of those boxes that you find at CVS. I wish it didn't have that scratch on the case. Come on, SGC. You got to be better than that, man. Shit. All the time you wait and then they bring you a scratched case. But uh, it's a 1990 Dunruss. Nolan Ryan, 5,000 Ks, received a 10. So, beautiful card, as you can see. There's 5,000 Ks there. Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan card. Beautiful card. Junk Wax Error card. Comes back a 10. I'll take it. So, that's it, guys. There's my stack. 55 cards. I received... Um, 7 tens, 18 9.5s, 14 9s, 7 8.5s, 5 8s, 17.5, 1.4, 1.3, and 1.2.5 for a total of 55 cards. Took about six and a half to seven months, but it finally came back home. So that's all that matters, I guess. So that is it. I'm still waiting with all the snow, everything's delayed. Post office, I'm waiting for a uh, PSA order to come in. Two PSA orders to be delivered. They haven't been delivered yet, but that is it for now. That was my SGC sub. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. 
Uh, if this is your first time here, I do these types of videos, SGC, PSA. I do TTM videos. And if I can ever find a box, I do box rips. So that is it for today. I really appreciate it. If you hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Something ends up in my mailbox. Take care, everybody. God bless. Peace. Leave a comment. Thanks. Bye.